Hey guys, it's Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is going to be super lit because I am back with a brand new gaming PC build video. So initially I was thinking of making a 60 to 70 thousand rupees PC build this time mainly for content creation as well as gaming purpose. But what happened is in my recent videos I've seen that most of you guys were requesting me to make a video on a budget gaming PC build of around 25 to 30 thousand rupees. I got a lot of requests in the comments section and that's why I thought okay first we'll make this budget gaming PC build video you know a super budget one and then we'll move on to the mid-range one so that's why I decided to do this first so today we'll be doing a super budget gaming PC guys I think this is the most affordable gaming PC you can build the best one uh, in this price segment and this PC build which I'll be doing in today's video will cost you only around 25 to 26 thousand rupees that is very affordable right but don't underestimate the price guys because this PC performs really well for the price you can play most of the AAA title games without any issues so first let me tell you about the components that I'll be using for this build now to be honest it's actually a bit difficult to include a GPU in this price range of around 25 to 30k and in fact you don't need a GPU for this build guys because we'll be using a special APU from AMD now APU is a CPU which comes with built-in graphics and you might very well know what I'll be using in today's video as you can see I'll be using Ryzen's uh, CPU with built-in Vega graphics the Ryzen 3 2200G now first of all before you guys tell anything why I'm using a 2200G is that is the most affordable CPU with built-in graphics you can get in the market it costs only around like 5900 rupees uh, in today's market price and it offers like really good performance for the price now if you ask me why didn't I go with the new 3rd gen 3200G now see guys I've also tested that as well and to be honest both of them there's not a big difference in performance there's only about like five to eight percent difference and that you can achieve in this same cpu by slightly overclocking it that's why you don't need to spend some extra money and get that you can get the same results using this cpu as well uh, so that was about the cpu and coming to the motherboard now we're, since we are on a budget i'll be going with three ab350 and motherboard from gigabyte it costs around like 6000 rupees and offers really good features like it's got built-in rgb lighting comes with built-in wi-fi bluetooth and all that stuff but again if you have like 1000 rupees extra to spend i would suggest you to go with the new 450 chipset motherboards so that will be uh, that will depend on your budget and apart from that let's talk about the ram uh, you might think that i'll be using 8 gb ram for this build because it's a budget and affordable build right but no i would suggest you to go with a 16 gb configuration because see ryzen apus offer really good performance when you have a dual ram configuration so that's why we'll be using a uh, 16 gb kit configuration configuration today and for a budget price segment I would recommend you to choose Corsair's Vengeance RAM guys uh, this one is 8 GB stake so you can buy two of them you'll get 16 GB RAM DDR4 RAM for around like 6000 rupees so that is what I'll suggest but since I don't have two of these RAM stakes I'll be using something alternative from HyperX so yeah I'll be using a 16 GB HyperX Fury RGB RAM in this build but you can go with Corsair's that is like very good at an affordable price so i guess we are done with the cpu motherboard ram the only thing left is a power supply and a case uh, for this build choose a 450 watt power supply guys i'll be using cooler masters mwe 450 watt power supply and that will cost you around like 2200 or 2300 uh, that will get your job done and coming to the cabinet now there are lots of cabinets in the market you can choose any of your choice of around 2500 to 3000 rupees uh, that will I'll leave that decision to you guys now since I don't have a lot of options because we are especially in a lockdown situation I have to use Corsair's Carbide series uh, cabinet only the one which I used in my previous PC build I actually wanted to use something else but since I'm on a shortage right now and I can't go out and buy anything else I am stuck with that so yeah these are the components we'll be using in today's PC build video guys and the whole price will come around like 25 to 26 thousand rupees also one more thing to mention uh, make sure that you don't miss any part in this video because I'll be sharing some special tips and tricks with you and also show you some special BIOS settings in this video by applying which you can maximize the performance of this build so let's get started with the assembling part 
Now I won't be showing you how to assemble it in depth like a tutorial. I've already shown you how to build a PC in a lot of my other videos, right? I'll just leave a link to them in the card above and you can refer to those videos. So the first thing we need to do is install the CPU on the motherboard. It's got an AM4 socket, just lift the lever, check for the alignment and drop it gently like this. Now pull down the lever and lock the CPU in its place. So we're done with the CPU, time to install the cooler. I'm not using any dedicated air or liquid coolers because this is a budget build and actually doesn't need such heavy cooling. I'm using AMD stock cooler that you get with the CPU. Just place the cooler on top of the processor and tighten up all the four screws. But before that, don't forget to apply some thermal paste. My stock cooler already came with some pre-applied paste, that's why I didn't apply anything separately. And we're done with the CPU as well as the cooler. Time to install the RAM sticks. As I've mentioned before, we'll be going with a 16GB dual RAM configuration where I'll be using two 8GB DDR4 RAM sticks from HyperX. Just open the lever, check for the direction and push it hardly until the lever locks itself. And there you go, we've successfully installed the RAM. Now time to fix the motherboard in your cabinet. So as I told you at the beginning, I'm leaving the choice of choosing a PC case to you guys. There are plenty of cases available from Cooler Master, Corsair and even Antec for around 2500 to 3000 rupees. You can choose whatever you like. I'll be going with Corsair's Carbide Series Spec 5 for this video. I've already installed the 450W power supply in the case and took all the PSU cables to the backside. Now time to install the motherboard. And yes, before that, don't forget to fix the IO shield in the case. Now take some screws and start fixing the motherboard. You get all the screws and necessary stuff with your cabinet itself. And that's it guys, we're all done with the assembling of this budget PC. The only thing left to do is connect all the required power supply cables. I have already done that and as you can see everything is neatly organized. For a detailed info on the cabling work, you can just refer to my 50k gaming PC build which I made a few days ago. So that's it, our 26,000 gaming PC is all done and ready to go. That was super easy right? Now let's power it on and see how this thing looks like. Wow, now that is a beautiful looking build on a budget. It's got a bit of RGB as well and keeps everything lively. If you're wondering about the fan at the back, that is optional, it's from Aerocool and costs only around 350 rupees. But I have to say it definitely adds a beautiful look to the build. Not bad for a budget PC right? What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts. And here is the complete setup for today. I'll just leave links to all these peripherals in the description box below. Now before we get started with the performance testing and gaming, there are a few things which you need to adjust in the BIOS to get the max performance out of this build. Since I'm using a Gigabytes motherboard, this is how the BIOS will look like. It may vary depending on the brand you choose. So head over to the chipset settings and here you'll find an option called as integrated graphics. By default it will be set to auto, but you need to change it to exactly my settings as you can see on the screen. You need to change from auto to forces over here and change the UMA buffer size from auto to 2GB. This will greatly improve your gaming performance. You can even choose higher like 4GB but I would suggest you to set it to 2GB only as it is stable and more than enough. Basically what this setting does is, it allots your physical RAM memory for the integrated graphics. So setting it higher than this will limit your usable RAM capacity for other applications in Windows. After that, apply and exit from BIOS. Now let's jump into the gaming section and see how it performs. Let's play GTA 5 and check out the results. We'll be running these tests in three different resolutions, first in 720p, then 900p and lastly 1080p. The graphic quality has been set to normal and low as you can see in the video and I'll be using a controller to play all the games. So let's see how the test goes. Holy smokes, what the hell? 100 frames per second on GTA 5 on this 25k PC? Now that is like the performance you'd like to see. I know it's only 720p resolution, but trust me, you're getting excellent results without using any dedicated graphic card. You can play most of the AAA title games with great results at 720p resolution on this build. Just have a look at this clip, and then we'll see how it performs at 900p resolution. Alright, time to switch the gear to 900p while keeping all the remaining graphic settings same as before. Mm. 
Whoa, not bad. We were getting an average frame rate of around 75 frames per second. Buttery smooth gameplay without any lags or stutter so far. I'm curious to see how this will perform at 1080p resolution. Okay, finally time to play 1080p with the graphics set to normal. Wow, this is awesome guys. Ryzen 2200G still rocks in 2020. A 5900 rupees APU is offering you great 1080p gaming with a solid frame rate of around 65 frames per second. You will surely enjoy gaming on a budget with this build. You can also increase the graphics from low to medium and you will get around like 40 to 45 frames per second, which is still pretty decent considering that there is no dedicated GPU in the build. Just sit back, relax and enjoy the gameplay. Okay, let's play one more game, Battlefield 1 and check out the results. We are playing it currently at 900p resolution and with the graphics set to low. Let's have a look at the gameplay. So on an average, we were getting around 70 frames per second without any sorts of lags or stutters. Let's bump up the graphics from low to medium settings and see what happens. Wow, decently good results. 50 FPS on an average. So guys, my conclusion would be, you can play most of the games at 900p resolution on this build with excellent results even with medium or high graphics. And 1080p gaming is also possible at low graphic settings. See, this is the best you can get for 25k price range and in future you can even add a GPU to the build and get even better results. So let's quickly summarize all the component prices one by one. The Ryzen 2200G will cost you around 5900 rupees. The AB350 and motherboard from Gigabyte is available for around 6000 rupees. 16GB Corsair Vengeance RAM kit will cost you 6000 rupees. A 240GB SSD is usually priced for 3000 rupees no matter what brand you take. Talking about the power supply, Cooler Masters MWE 4000 costs 2300 and finally coming to the case, as I mentioned before, buy any case of your choice around 2500 to 3000 rupees. So the total budget of this gaming PC will come down to 26200 rupees. This PC will be great for both normal day to day tasks as well as gaming. Well, that's it for today guys, that was my video on the most affordable gaming PC in 2020. Hope you all enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.